This thing is drenched. What is up, you bunch of drone nerds? You're watching George Ashcroft, AKA Crashcroft FPV, and today we're gonna to talk about something really, really, really special. This quad that I have right here is fully waterproof. How is it fully waterproof, you may ask? Is it conformal coated? Is it, is it coated in some sort of amazing formulae? Yes, it is. It is coated in this stuff. FPV Worry Free. This is made by Brandon FPV. Go check him out. I'll leave all of his links to his socials in the description. I'm sure some of you have seen the viral videos that came out of this stuff. The guy literally flies his quad underneath ice. This is what I want out of this. I will be able to land in the water, basically. I'm hoping. Talking to Brandon on Instagram and stuff, it seems like this stuff literally blows anything else out of the water. So I was actually really surprised on how easy it was to waterproof this drone. Literally all I did was take it all apart, apply the waterproofing to each side of the flight controller, the ESC, and the contacts on there, the Vista, and then I sealed up the crossfire, you'll see in the video. I'm filming this intro after the fact that I've done it, so just excuse the random table and the random camera angles that you have, because I was kicked out of my little studio area for the night because my missus needed to use the computer for her uni work. Let's get straight into the build video and let's uh, just see how exactly to waterproof it. Okay, so what do we get inside the package of FPV Worry Free? So not only do we get this nice little plastic tube with a nice applicator for the Worry Free, we get a business card and a sticker from Brandon FPV, we get a nice little toolkit that has two toothpicks and it has a plastic stick and also a brush, but we also get these little rubber inserts for the USB ports which makes it really nice and easy to make sure that you don't get any of the Worry Free inside your USB port when you're applying it. So the first thing that you've got to do is take your quad apart, don't unsolder anything, make sure it's all still connected, flop it out on your desk like a big old octopus of FPV parts and then you're ready to start going ahead and applying your FPV worry free. The first part I started with was the camera as it seemed like the easiest part to start with and all there is to do on this camera which is the Nebula Pro is to seal up the little hole in between the cable and the camera. I must say I did change the coaxial cable if you've got one of those cables that has like the wound um, like protective stuff over all the wires change it to a proper silicon wire that comes with like the DJI cameras. So what you want to do is just apply the worry free around the cable and make sure you plug up that hole so no water can get in there whatsoever and then also if you want to take it an extra step further and do what I did is put the worry free around the lens as well. In my experience, when I've crashed into water with an analog quad before, every single thing on the quad has been fine after I let it dry out, except from the camera. Once the water gets into the sensor of the camera, that is pretty much say goodbye to your picture quality and you can no longer see anymore. So for me, I just wanted to really seal up that camera around the lens and make sure no water can get into that camera whatsoever. The next thing I moved on to was the Vista. You don't actually have to do anything to a Vista. Unofficially, it's waterproof. Brandon FPV has tested this out on his channel. I will link the video in the description if you don't believe me, but you can literally dunk a Vista into water and it won't short out. It'll still carry on working and be totally fine, so no worries there. Now, Brandon did say that he got some oxidization on the solder pads, so I just put some worry-free along the solder pads exactly like he did in his video, and then we should be good to go on the Vista. The Crossfire receiver isn't really that susceptible to being damaged, which is why this can probably work. If it was something like an ESC on an arm or something like that, you'd want to probably put it inside as well and then seal up the heat shrink too. So with the crossfire receiver, I literally just put worry free in either end of the heat shrink and then I shrunk the heat shrink around it to let the worry free ooze out and seal up all of the gaps itself. I think this works really, really well. If you don't want to put new heat shrink on there, I'm sure you could just get away with putting the worry free in both ends and just plugging it up. Lovely jubbly. So the next thing is the flight controller. So you want to start with one side of the flight controller. Just apply a load of worry free. Don't be sparing with it at all. It's waterproofing your quad. Put a load of worry free on top of the flight controller and then you can work it in with that little plastic stick or the brush or the toothpick, whichever tool that you think is gonna be best for you. And then once you finish that, you can move the flight controller to one side and let that dry. It takes about half an hour to dry and then you can work on the other side. So whilst we're waiting for that to dry, we'll move on to the ESC. The ESC is gonna be literally pretty much exactly the same. 
I applied the worry free over the top of the heat sink on this one just because I didn't want to take the heat sink off because I'm lazy. Again, I just applied loads and loads of worry free on top and made sure that it was in every single gap. The one thing I did on the ESC that was different to the flight controller is I actually put screws into the holes of the ESC to make sure that none of the worry free got into the little rubber grommets for the stack mounting, which was, you know, a fairly genius idea on my part. So yeah, pretty simple for those two bits. It's literally exactly the same for both other sides. Once those two sides are dry, you're just gonna flip over your flight controller and your ESC and just apply it exactly the same way onto the other side. Make sure you're working it into all the little gaps. And afterwards, just give it a little inspect with a light or something and make sure you haven't missed any parts and you can go back over those parts that you missed with some more worry-free. You wanna make sure that you don't get any worry-free on the inside of the plugs for the ESC and the flight controller. So just be pretty careful around that and don't worry if you can't like get all the way around it because this is what I'm going to show you now. Once you've got the flight controller and the ESC both coated you can plug them both together and then with that cable you can seal up the cable ends where the plug's in. You're effectively making it a permanent connection because I don't think you're getting that plug out again but it is going to be fully waterproof don't forget. So yeah, that's basically exactly what I did. It's not very pretty, I'm not gonna lie. I did quite a bad job, and I could probably have made it a little bit neater. I also put a load of worry-free over the capacitor and everything like that, just to seal everything in like a little bubble of worry-free because that makes me feel more comfortable. So once you've done all of that and you're happy that the worry-free has coated everything and it's fully waterproof, you can go ahead and put your quad back together. Now by the looks of it, this stuff is gonna work really, really well. But just to prove that it does actually work, I did a very small little test in my back garden on my famous trampoline. Plug it in. So this is the first time that this quad has got wet. Let's just go for it. Three, two, one. Nice and wet. Fine. Right, and now just for shits and giggles. confident now that that is going to work and let me just show you this thing is drenched bro like it is drenched How sick is that? Did, did you see that? So there you go, product proof. Go buy some FPV Worry Free, guys, because it's so good. So I'm back from Greece now. I'm sunburned, I'm red, I'm tired. I'm editing this video for you to upload right now. It's gonna be up tonight, on the night of me filming this. Subscribe to the channel. It would be very, 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 very much appreciated. As you can see, I'm definitely not scared to fly low over water anymore. Oh my God, some of the shots that I got in Greece were incredible. There's a full Crete edit coming out soon. I'm gonna say goodbye to you now, but here is a little short edit that I made the day that I put the FPV Worry Free on. So the same day I went out to the lake 
and I got some cool shots over the water. I mean, this is nothing compared to what I got in Crete, but here you go anyway, my beauties. Goodbye, love you.